What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to ReZero, this time of season 3, episode 6 I believe. Uh, last week was one of the best episodes of the season so far and it's been an amazing season so that says uh, a lot taken on the Witch of Lust. And I had some really nice uh, kind, of kind of body horror and transformations and such, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But we did see that she did end up submerging this uh this base unfortunately so it's just a matter of time before everyone dies but yeah do let me know what you guys think about this step down in the comments leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date Is my night. How far we've come from those episodes in season one, by the way, with, uh, with him kind of messing up the whole kind of selection and such, and acting quite horribly. So. I've got a bit of a theory, it's not like awfully interesting or anything, but uh, we did see that um, the Archbishop of Lust ended up putting some of her blood in both Subaru, I do just want to rewind this segment here, um, yeah, putting some of her blood in Subaru as well as Krush, um, and I'm not sure if it's like a, a thing of maybe, I'm thinking maybe Subaru might turn into a fish. <laughs> uh, just because he's now kind of been submerged in the water and, and it was kind of carried away. It, it didn't transform before he was, so I'm thinking maybe his transformation might kind of, um, yeah, kind of suit the, the place and the environment that he's in now, which is getting flushed away with a bunch of water. And I think that would be quite funny, to be honest. So I'm hoping that might be the case. <laughs> we get fish super. I wonder what Krish would turn into in that case, but um, we'll see. See if he turns into anything. So he hasn't turned into anything just yet. <laughs> Just twerking. So again, what's the deal with um? Hmm. Oh, do you reckon that's like a an animal leg? Fuck. <laughs> well, that is very strange, isn't it? It looks pretty... Oh, I was gonna say it looks it looks more human than it does like animal, but it, it obviously doesn't look human <laughs> either. That horrible leg. What the hell's going on there? That stick of flesh. It looks like a um a pepper army.
<laughs> I mean, I, I actually probably used to doing stuff like that. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, um, thank you guys very much for telling me about the specials, which I'm going to have to watch every week from now on. They were pretty fun, actually. I never watched them before, but there was some really big information about a certain character that I won't go into here revealed, which is quite crazy. So yeah, one of them was the marriage, one of them was the tome. I can't remember the second one. The artificial spirit, Beatrice. That's the one. He wants all your women. <laughs> well, Regulus wants Amelia. Lust wants Betty. That can't happen. It's a little bit like last season in a sense, uh, um, he was made to kind of choose, he got his own way and ended up solving both of uh, both of the cases, but he did have to choose whether to go back to the, the manor. Or stay in the sanctuary. These look right out of Silent Hill, these do. They kind of look like the crawly things from uh, the third game. Which fucking suck. I hate those things. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty cute. <laughs> ah, so that's what... So these were born from that. It's like a... I like that little cat-dog one. Okay. That. Oh, that was pretty sick. Oh no, the cute one. <laughs> that was pretty sick. I like. I like. Uh, yeah, I like interesting shots where the camera is. It's hard to say where the camera is in anime because there is no camera. But you know what I'm saying. Like interesting perspectives like that. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, then I mean, never really knew what I thought of her power wise, but yeah, I guess she is pretty, uh, pretty strong. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, we got a got a song. Sorry, guys. I will just have to mute this quickly, just in case. She is good, isn't she? They picked a really good uh, voice actress for her. I'm assuming it is the same voice actress that sings as well.
It's amazing, isn't it? Everybody's literally entranced, but they're actually more entranced by this awesome song. And the and now they're yeah, now they're fine. <laughs> amazing. What was embarrassing about that? There we go. That's the more accurate name for her, I believe, isn't it? Instead of songstress, it's like diva. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this new girl. I'm a big fan of all the new additions, honestly, this season so far. I've said the same thing in season two. I think this show is just that good, to be honest with you. A lot of the time it takes quite some time to like warm up to characters and such, but this show introduces characters like Garth, obviously Epidona, all the witches. Like Every time they introduce characters in this show, it's more, most... Almost 100% of the time it's a hit, if you know what I'm saying, it's like, they're usually awesome. Gosh. That's handy, isn't it? <laughs> so, he's, so 200 of them have died. Uh, again, I guess that's actually quite a good location for him to live if he does live here, right next to the church. Handy. Flick the booger out. <laughs> Other girl down there, she's like a fucking statue. Where is that country? I forget. There's a country out there kind of like this, isn't there? Where people can just have as many wives as they like and... Yeah. I forget where it is. Judas? Oh, 
But again, what is the deal with the leg then? Like, I'm running it fine. It's just like, it looks very weird. I want again, it makes me wonder what happened to Krush. Oh, speaking of that, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Obviously, I don't want to see it fucked up, but <laughs> you guys know I'm a fan of. Uh... I'm a fan of, uh, yeah, transformations. Ah, sneaky. I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, there's not, not much you can do, but I'm, I'm not sure ice is the best thing to be escaping outside like that. Like, the uh, ice is pretty slippy, isn't it? He's talking to the others here. <laughs> You're a grave lead, think you can put my rights. Fuck it up. Sounds like every uh yeah every person nowadays. Again, I love the choice of voice actor for this guy. I love him. He's very good with his insult. Um, he, Regulus is a very insulting guy, and this voice actor is very good at insulting people. <laughs> so it's like a perfect match. Maybe maybe there's another artificial spirit here, who knows? But I imagine they're talking about her. And um and with Lust's demands with uh Archbishop Lust as Christella or whatever her name is. Indeed. Okay, I I just assumed there was one with the the witch that was under this place. But I guess I'm wrong in assuming that.
who do not negotiate with terrorists. So this whole situation seems actually again I know it's su such fantasy, but it does actually seem pretty um relatable to uh, <laughs> real world events. Funnily enough, actually. I mean, every piece of fiction is based on some kind of reality, isn't it? Some kind of imagine, uh, yeah, some something that inspired you that be good or bad. I guess I don't know. Don't want to start talking about that too much. <laughs> but like everything in your life is like you've been taught because of what you've seen and heard and such. I don't think anything's truly kind of um yeah like new or imaginative again I think everyone takes inspiration and such from something even if it's subconsciously I want to see the bows. <laughs> A knight's code. Oh, we didn't get to see the bows. I was, I was, I was hoping we'd see the bows there. <laughs> I think I did see. I didn't notice it during watching, but I think I did see a post on uh, on Twitter with some people doing the pose. I think it might have been Mimi and Garth. Yeah, it was, I think it was Mimi and Garth doing the <laughs> doing the classic. So what I might do guys is I'll look if the specials are available, if they are, um, this wasn't the case last week, but if they are available I'll watch them with you guys on here perhaps. Um, maybe not, I don't know, I, I, I don't know actually I'm much watching my own time, I've already watched the others in my own time to be fair, so I'll leave it. I used to do that for Reminiscence in Shadow though, I used to watch the little kind of chibi versions of that after each episode, but that was when I was not watching it weekly. Yeah, good episode today. Didn't, um, obviously not nearly as much action as the previous couple of episodes, but of course we've actually got to kind of set things up and such here, haven't we? And uh, still a pretty entertaining episode, even though we didn't have... Um, that's the great thing about this series, isn't it? You can, you can go like six or seven. Look at season two, for example. You can go like six or seven episodes about action or anything, and it's absolutely fantastic storyline-wise. The storyline that gives the action kind of so much impact, in my opinion. There are certain exceptions to that, like Jujutsu Kaisen, for example. But like purely like action-focused shows, if they don't have a good storyline, it's boring. Who is that? Oh, shit. Well, again, that's interesting considered in, considering in the special I watched last week, the information we got was about him. And again, it's a big, it's a big piece of information. So again, I won't say it here, but um, wow, no way he's. One piece of information that I will reveal from that episode is that I think he said he's been living here for like twenty years or so. Huh. 
What the hell? So I assumed he wasn't talking to um it's not Pristella, is it? The 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 Archbishop of Lust. Again, you guys know have terrible names. Um So I assumed that Regulus wasn't talking to her. He mentioned the fact that someone um released the water and it was her that released the water and the person who on the phone said that it wasn't them that released it so i obviously assumed it wasn't her he was talking to so now i was thinking he was talking to either lie or raf but thinking about it i'm not sure he would have been talking to raf during that conversation so that just leaves lie and i guess now here ow for whatever reason and this is what a meteor is again this is also a point i've been quite interested about because again in season one a meteor was the phone that subaru had so Perhaps they've actually kind of like developed the technology to be very similar to that. So it, it, it kind of like phone. This is pretty much a phone, isn't it? But just like a mirror. Um, we unfortunately didn't get to see again. I can understand why, because it is always quite awful seeing like your fan favorites and like lovely characters brutalized. But I would have, I would have actually liked to see, um, seen what happened to Crush. To be honest with you, <laughs> again, I'm a big fan of. Uh, or, or like the transformations and such so that was a bit of a shame honestly we didn't actually get to see what what did happen to her there was like this one shot here where there's like a load of blood but you especially because the subtitles are in the way you can't really see the subtitles are like right where her head would be so um yeah didn't get to see too hopefully we might see that next week but like i said uh really uh really good episode today uh very strange end here though Yeah, interesting. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Um, what is her name again? This woman here. Again, you guys sound fun. Terrible, sorry. Um, <laughs> she was uh, maybe one of the big standout moments today. She was pretty awesome today, wasn't she? Uh, as well as the uh, the diva. I thought she was fantastic as well today. Uh, but again, do let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next week with episode 7.